Yes? Oh, uh, come in, come in. <laughs> My star student. What are you doing here so late? No, no, you, you're not bothering me at all. I'm, I'm just performing some analysis on these samples. Pretty trivial stuff, really. So, uh, what are you here for? You want to know about what? Neurochemicals responding to affective touch. Ha. <laughs> That's an interesting topic for sure. May I ask why you wish to know more about this? I mean, we didn't cover it in class. And there are no questions involving it in the final exam. So, are you attempting to create some sort of love potion? <laughs> Don't be shy, it's okay, I'm just messing with you. What do you want to know about it? Everything. <laughs> That's a bit broad. I think. No, no, it's alright. And please, you don't need to call me sir. You can call me Frank. After all, I'm not much older than you. I mean, you must be about... Um, oh, okay. Then I have five years on you. Are you telling me I look old? Wow. I feel offended now. No, I'm just messing with you again. Relax, okay? Relax. So, neurochemicals, what do you want to know about them? Oh, the whole process. Well, we could be weeks discussing it. I mean, I can give you an overview and then I could show you some papers you can read if you're really into the topic. Okay? All right, great. So, first of all, we have to differentiate touch. Well, yes, obviously. I mean, your hypothalamus can't tell them apart, but your brain certainly can. I mean, a high five won't be the same as a gentle touch on your forearm. You also need to think about how you perceive the other person. Well, yeah, obviously, of course. I mean, think about it. Imagine a successful, attractive man. Well, or a woman. I don't know. Man? Okay. Imagine a successful, attractive man lightly touching his shoulders. Now, do the same with someone you find creepy. Not the same, is it? Exactly. I can show you more papers and why this happens, but it's actually a really complicated process and we don't have time to dive into it. Anyway, uh, I'm assuming you want to know what happens when you find the other person attractive, correct? Uh, I had a hunch. Anyway, what happens is that in that case, you release oxytocin, which is called the love hormone by many. After all, like, love is nothing more than stimuli and a chemical response. The only trick is, you need to find the correct stimuli. Example of stimuli, okay. Well... There are many, for sure. You can cause that chemical response on someone just by looking at them. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, just the lightest touch, like this. Oh, yeah. H holding hands can uh, trigger it as well, sure. Wh what happens after the oxytocin? Well, I heard you get tunnel vision. 
we can only see the other person and we get isolated at least for an instant from the outside world only noticing the other person's features, their eyes, their face almost as if we stared at their soul there is also time dilation we don't perceive the passing of time the same way oh, oh i i couldn't tell you that i i don't have much experience maybe someday i'll get to do it for research obviously oh yeah i would need an assistant a willing participant huh maybe nah forget it no nothing nothing it's just ah, fine whatever I I was thinking maybe you could help me with my experiment I mean not everyone I meet blushes when I give them the slightest touch or when I hold your hand and so long as this, this is for research purposes of course I didn't see why not So here's my offer. Take my hand and let's see where this takes us. <laughs> if at any point you... <laughs> okay, you get the idea. Now, give me your hand. Intertwine your fingers with mine. Look at my eyes. Your eyes are gorgeous. And so is your face and hair. May I? Your skin is smooth as a feather. Your cheek is looking like a cherry and your beautiful eyes. Give me a glimpse of your soul. And that tear in them. I can see a world of emotion. That's what I say. Do you want to try now? Sure, you can touch my face. Tell me what you say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else? Wow, our perspectives are clearly different because I don't see half of what you do. But maybe it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter so long as we have someone with whom the world just disappears. Maybe we should we should make it go away completely close your eyes Come in. Oh, hi, uh, Jenny. Yeah, we we just dropped something. I'll clean up. Don't don't worry. You can you can go home now. Okay. All right. Bye.
That was uh, intense. No, no, no anymore. We almost. No, I I got carried away. I, I'm sorry. Listen, I think it's for the best if we wait and if we reflect on our experiment tonight. And let's draw our conclusions with a clear head tomorrow. Sound good? Okay. Now... Go. I'll clean these up.